I'm really proud of you for going on this trip. You're gonna have so much fun. And remember, if something chases you, run. Hello, welcome to What the Flick. Christy, Alonzo, Matt, Ben. So we are back, as is Jurassic Park or World, or what is this called this time? I'm so confused. I don't know. There are dinosaurs and they're hungry. I don't like your attitude already. About <laughs> <laughs> I find I it like derisive and petty. <laughs> as well as should be. So this is uh, uh, a, a film that takes place in the world where Jurassic Park existed. There was a park called Jurassic Park 20 years ago, and uh, it uh, the things we saw in the movie happened. There was a disaster. Dinosaurs got out. But it's about 20 years later, and uh, the same company has come back uh, honoring Richard Attenborough, or whatever his name was in the movie, Hammond. John Hammond. Right. Uh, and, uh, Reggie Hammond? And they've, uh, <laughs> and they've, uh, uh, and they've built a new park. Uh, and this time, everything goes fine. <laughs> That's not what happens. Uh, it turns out that some of the same problems still exist. The difference this time is they are genetically engineering uh, dinosaurs. So we, are, we meet a, uh, a, a dinosaur bigger than T-Rex that didn't exist in the Jurassic world, in the real Jurassic yes. world, but exists in Jurassic world. And with these genetically, <laughs> thank you, engineered thank you. dinosaurs, uh, what would happen if that genetic engineering got into the hands of the wrong people? has opened up. We have our first genetically modified hybrid. We just went and made a new dinosaur? Probably not a good idea. Almost 40 feet high. Really think she climbed out. Depends. On what? What kind of dinosaur they cooked up in that lab. Evacuate the island. She's a highly intelligent animal. She will kill anything that moves. Oh, God. <laughs> In a world. Oh, God, okay, seriously, movie. do we need another remake of Westworld? I, I mean, come the, on. The, the, the first one was totally Westworld meets Jaws, which was a, gr a fine idea and a fun movie. And every sequel has kind of sucked. And this yeah. one included, I think. Um, I, first of all, why after, in the, in, the, in the world of this movie, if there have been three disastrous encounters between humans and dinosaurs, 20 years later suddenly, oh no, it's a theme park and we're not ever gonna explain I think, why we changed our mind about that. Even if they're that. ignoring the other two sequels. Yeah, which is still, clearly what they're doing. Like they're, this they're, gigantic they're, billion dollar project goes completely sideways in the first film. And then 20 years later, like, oh, we figured it out, no problem. Yeah, it'd and be like if nothing that they say about, like, oh, we had to restart from the here's ground Here's how up. we fix it, yeah. It'd be like if Ford said, you know, we're going to do Edsel's again. You know, <laughs> why? Because we don't learn because we're arrogant. We as a people. That's Hubris, right. man. Look, we're <laughs> stupid. We're not that stupid. Apparently so. Okay, Although right. Jake Johnson's not that stupid because he, Jake Johnson wears the actual Jurassic Park t-shirt yes. in which, homage. Which, which, yes, which, which, which Bryce Dallas Howard tells him is in poor taste. I was like, well, you know, if it were in that bad, right. Taste, you wouldn't have called the new one Jurassic you World. Have the damn park in the first place, but I think yes. you have to. Right. I mean, yes. <laughs> if you can't get past that premise that they've done it again, then oh, that's, that's just true. the icing on the cake. That there's, the there's a, a so much stupid in this movie. I mean, okay, the first several films are all about oh my god, the T Rex so terrifying, so deadly. This time, it is outrun by Bryce Dallas Howard in high heels. Right. Yeah, she never takes off her shoes. She's, uh, ever. Yeah, that's a problem. She's super in shape though. <laughs> 
Right. And she's got and a she's, flare. Because she's been running in heels. By the she does have a flare. That yeah. makes all right. the difference. Yeah, that um, was a... So oh, the, that was, a, that was a flaw. The bigger God. problem here, though, is this movie manages to make Chris Pratt boring. Oh, yeah. How do you do that? Why? Like, he's the most charismatic hot guy now. And Why they, cast him and like, not I let kept, him be him? I kept thinking, he like, man, he's carrying this Burt Macklin thing really far. Yeah. And I kept <laughs> expecting, like, it, I waited longer and longer and longer. Like, boy, when he winks at the camera, it's going to be great. Oh, he's waiting. He's really carrying this joke too far. And he never does. Like, he plays it just too straight. Yeah, that could have been. Kind of I think it's written that it, way, though. He's, yeah. he's not given a lot to do here. Yeah, I know. But for whatever reason, I don't know whether that comes out of the direction or, or the script. But, but he never, right, he never Chris Pratt's it. And in fact, <laughs> this feels like, you know, a sequel to a project that, the, to a franchise where the franchise, they figure, can sell itself. And there are really low-level stars in it. You know, like, like these people didn't. Ha it didn't have to be people we recognized right. at all, this given that they Billy didn't. Zane movie. Right, they didn't take advantage, <laughs> or less. Like they didn't take advantage of any of the charm that, right. that Chris Pratt has. You have the yeah. hottest guy on the planet right now, and you give him nothing. Yeah, and he's so and he's and he's shirtless. And he's Scott Scott Hemsworth Hemsworth to play this role. <laughs> he's Scott Hemsworth. Hemsworth for crying no, out loud. Oh, the boo. third Hemsworth. Could <laughs> yeah, I mean the fourth or fifth Hemsworth could have played Jonas this role. Could have done this. No one would know that, and the whole romantic subplot with him and Bryce Dallas never clicks. But then there's multiple subplots. And threads like the kids, the two kids who are her nephews. There's a whole backstory with them and their parents getting a divorce. There's like multiple backstories just like in of three. things going on here. <laughs> and they're just sort of thrown in like, oh, here's this. And then it's never actually pursued. Like there's multiple strands that just sort of flail. And the, the first movie, you've got like, you've got Laura Dern, you've got Ariana Richards, super capable and keeping up with everybody else. This movie has four women with speaking parts. Three of them cry. <laughs> One gets eaten. And it's not a spoiler because I'm not telling you which one. Gets now, eaten horrifically, too. <laughs> look, like, I, I think that this movie's not a complete disaster. There, the dinosaur stuff and, you know, the action scenes, I think, work. And they're appropriately scary for what they are. They, they don't hold a candle to the first film. You know, my complaints about this movie is over to, uh, among other things, it takes way too long before anything interesting happens. Like, you get 20, 30, 40 minutes of just exposition and setup, and you're just... Come on, you know. Whereas in the first film, like the you know the original Jurassic Park opens up with that really scary scene with the guys feeding the raptors, and you haven't seen them, and it's this great little moment of short form tension where it sucks one of the you know they suck one of the guys one of the handlers into the cage and eat him, and so you come away from that with this sense of dread until you start seeing the dinosaurs where it's like oh shit something really is going to go down here so all of the all of the glory and grandeur of seeing these giant dinosaurs is still somewhat tempered by that fear that's kind of that dread that's lingering in the background. This movie doesn't do that at all. Here, here's, my, here's my theory with that. Is I agree with you, but I wonder if is so Colin Trevorrow directed this. This is not a Spielberg film. He produced it. But I wonder if he's trying to follow that jaws formula where like Really, nothing happens. You're setting a sense of place. You're building a quiet Except sense of dread. That Jaws Maybe that's what starts it is. with Jaws yeah. starts right. with getting right. killed. Yeah. Right, right. But, but you don't see. But you don't actually see the sure. dinosaur. You don't see the big massive but, but, Indominus but, Rex for an hour. But, and, and that's Maybe that's, that's, a that's our strategy. But if you're gonna do it, then you have to like give us some characters that don't feel like right. rehashes of like Romance in the Stone and Jurassic Park right. Three and all this other stuff. I mean, when they unpack the the John Williams thing for the first time, the da 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 da, <laughs> it's to show us the theme park, and it's like. This is an ad for Epcot. Like, why are now are we getting the epic music? Save it for the fucking dinosaurs. And by the way, where are they? You know, I, I, you know, I, I just, I, I was tense right from the beginning. So I hear you. We didn't see things, but, but I thought they set up nicely by because I bought in without, without your cynicism. <laughs> um, I, I bought into the idea that okay, in this world, that uh, sure a bunch of people were eaten and it would have been the biggest sort of theme park disaster in the history of the world. But 20 years later, we're ready to do it again. I also liked the idea that the reason for it was that we live in this culture where, like, which it made some sense to me, which I really liked, which was that hey, you know what, the dinosaurs aren't enough. We got to have bigger dinosaurs, sure. better dinosaurs, uh, which is a metaphor for the whole movie, right, really. Yeah. Right, right. But which is brought to you by Samsung, which is <laughs> and Mercedes Benz, and Brookstone, right. and Starbucks, and, and Margaritaville. Right. There was a lot of product placement, but then a lot of people and got, they make fun of product placement. They it's like, do. How and fucking dare more. you? But then people got, <laughs> but people got eaten in those places. Still, this is not Josie and the Pussycats. Right. They um, do not get to have their cake and eat it. Too. So I, I was tense, and I thought that we didn't really see the whatever it was, the bigger than T Rex, Rex, the Dominus Rex, five stories high. But we saw its cage, and we understood, and we saw the cracked glass, an indication that oh, this thing is, this thing is smart, and that and 
And, and I, I don't know, right? I mean, I was 10 minutes in and I was anxious. And I felt that level of anxiety throughout, which is why I ended up liking this movie. Because it's, it's not like I don't see what you guys are saying. Like the characters were, it was silly and I didn't really care. And the, but you know, uh, and, and, and unfortunately, who, who played the mom in the beginning? Oh, uh, Judy Greer. Judy Greer, right. I, want, like, I wanted Judy Greer to be in the movie rather than just be the kind of person who dropped her kids off and yeah. shows up yeah. an hour and 40 minutes around. later. Um, <laughs> so, it wasn't Ty Burrell. Isn't it? No. Who is the dad? No, 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 no. It's uh, David. Sorry, who's the dad? Sorry. It's not. He looks like Ty Burrell. <laughs> Ty Burrell. He's a Ty Burrell type. All yeah, right, sure. sorry. Go uh, ahead. Uh, look, I would have forgiven this movie a lot. <laughs> I think, like you, if I had been more scared, then yeah, I would have been like, okay, this other stuff, sure. As long as, just get, or if, if I had felt the tension, yeah, right, yeah. the anxiety, I didn't. And I, the, the big dino battle at the end is pretty good, but not so great that it made me kind of retroactively forgive the I, so many stupid things. I don't want to. Andy right. Buckley. Yeah, Andy Buckley. Sorry. Um, Can we mention also really fast that um, Vincent oh, D'Onofrio is in this? It's, it's, it's a huge cast. Vincent mm. D'Onofrio is like this very one-note kind of bad guy yeah. who might be from Texas. The, 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 the southern worse. accent comes and goes. We shouldn't, uh, shouldn't tuck his shirt in. Oh, boo. So mean. <laughs> Neither should Chris Christie. Um, um, oh, boo. Omar, Jake Johnson's kind of funny. Jake no. Johnson's kind of funny. Yeah. Omar Sy is miraculously, in a movie that's set near Costa Rica, the one French-speaking black yeah. man in the entire Caribbean. Yeah, Yifan Khan no. is in it as the megalo-billionaire. <laughs> right, right. Hey, I, I don't know. I liked him. I thought, I, 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 I like I the, I really bought that idea of, one, genetic engineering, and then the... I don't think this is a spoiler to say that the the military is interested in what these what, what these dinosaurs are capable of doing the killing machines that they could be. So that's that's a that's part of the plot of what happens when obviously when thing, when things go wrong. Uh, I really dug that idea that that like because it was totally plausible to me that we would be in a place where. 40 years from now, they show us dinosaurs, and then 10 years later, kids are like, Ugh, whatever, right. dinosaurs. When else <laughs> right, right. When you, when show me something right. new. Uh, like I said, and I was... Right. Uh, there I, are sharks with frickin' lasers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, totally, that's right, that's right. No, I mean, that, that one idea is mm -hmm. a clever one, and it, and it definitely speaks... It, it's the movie sort of telling the audience, look, we know we have to bring it now, because you're, you got bored with this franchise right, right, over right. many years ago. I don't think Colin Trevorrow was ready for this. His first movie yeah, part yeah. Of this is really good. Safety Not Guaranteed yes. is this great oh, little yeah. time right. travel yep. movie. It actually works. I know you love a time travel movie. This is the one that actually works. Mm -hmm. And it actually made Mark Duplass vaguely sexy, which was <laughs> unexpected. Go, that, 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 that was that, a good that, scale for him. I'm not sure who's ready for this yet. Yeah, you, you, watching this movie, you, know? you get very, except occasionally with Jake Johnson, you get no hint of the smarts of the guy who made that other movie. Yeah, okay. It just feels like this very bland, generic studio product. All right, so um, give your enormous number, please, Ben. Uh, 7.1. Okay. Uh, for this, for the thing that it is, for I, I, I thought it was uh, thrilling enough. Matt? Uh, I, it's fine. I give, it a, <laughs> I give it a six. It's fine. It does what it needs to do, but, God, it keeps reminding you of other better mm. Jurassic movies and there's glimpses of a better movie in here, and that's what's frustrating. Okay. Yeah, maybe I saw a lot of those glimpses. Yeah. Alonzo? Uh, at 5.2, there are, you know, a few moments at work, and some, you know, the J like Jake Johnson stuff kind of lands for the most part, but this just feels like a real missed opportunity and more boring than it needed to be, frankly. Yeah, I give it a 5. The Jurassic Park ride at Universal is more <laughs> thrilling than this. So our number is a 5.8. Where is it, Matt? It's on, uh, about in the low 70s on the 71. It's right where I am. I am the people. Um, the, uh, <laughs> You're the critic. No, it won't. Uh, oh, yes, I it am will. All, the, uh, oh, yes, it will. <laughs> I like for, uh, for PG-13, it, it managed not to feel tame the way many PG-13 movies that have to be violent and scary right. mm -hmm. do. Like we got some, we, they, they, they clearly got the maximum amount of blood and gore that you could get in PG-13. Oh yeah, PG -13. people get eaten in this Yeah, they, were, sure. they pushed yeah. it and, and, and I liked it because normally I think PG-13 ruins nearly yeah. everything it touches. Don't bring your kids, bye.